So just wanted to make a quick MLB news and rumors video for you guys talking about the New York Mets in particular. So this video uh, is going to be a New York Mets news and rumors video uh, for the 2023 MLB season. Let's get right into it. So the item of note today for the New York Mets is in regard to free agency rumors uh, and who the fourth outfielder could be uh, for the Mets in 2023. So uh, John Heyman tweeted out on Twitter with McCutcheon off the board, Mets are now considering Tommy Pham for fourth outfield uh, outfielder, among others, still free agents. Uh, Trey Mancini, Adam Duvall, Jerickson Profar, and Tyler Naquin. So it seems like at this point, uh, the New York Mets with Andrew McCutcheon off the board, I actually reported yesterday uh, that Andrew McCutcheon was, uh, you know, a player of uh, of note, I guess, uh, to keep an eye on for the New York Mets as a potential fourth outfielder. Uh, with him going back to the uh, to the Pirates, that's obviously not going to be the case anymore. So uh, we'll shift our attention towards guys like Tommy Pham, uh, Trey Mancini, Adam Duvall, Jerickson Profar, and Tyler Naquin uh, for uh, you know the next player to go to the Mets potentially, uh, and that's what's being reported by John Heyman um, on Twitter. So starting off with Tommy Pham, uh, Tommy Pham's a solid player. Uh, we haven't really heard his name so far linked to the Mets until today. Uh, but he would make a you know a nice option as a fourth outfielder, uh, someone that can be a player that doesn't play every day, but can be a nice player to fill in uh, every now and then for the New York Mets in the outfield. Um, you know, if there's an injury, he's a good replacement option. Uh, overall, Tommy Pham, not a terrible uh, choice uh, for the Mets uh, in the outfield. Now in 2022, uh, Tommy Pham did not have a fantastic year at the plate, uh, well below his career averages. Uh, only 0.4 war, uh, 131 hits, 17 home runs, 236 uh, batting average, 89 runs scored, 63 RBIs, uh, eight stolen bases, 312 on base percentage uh, a slugging percentage of 374 uh, an OPS of 686 but an OPS plus of just 87 so overall uh, not a fantastic year for Tommy Pham at the plate uh, and that's sort of where he is so far uh, at this point of his MLB career. Now, according to his baseball savant page, uh, he still has a you know a pretty high exit uh, average exit velocity, uh, max exit velocity, and hard hit percentage. So uh, he does hit the ball hard. Uh, he does struggle though uh, with whiff percentage. Um, you know, uh, BA, XBA, X slugging. You know, K percentage. You name it. Uh, it just seems like at this point, Tommy Pham is probably on a bit of a downward trajectory in regards to hitting. Uh, but if you're looking for a guy that can be your fourth outfielder, I don't think Tommy Pham is a terrible option uh, and he could be a Mets target for 2023. So now in regards to Trey Mancini, who actually had a pretty solid year last year, a uh, split between the Baltimore Orioles uh, and the Houston Astros, actually had a way better year with the uh, with the Orioles uh, prior to him getting traded to the Astros. He sort of struggled at the plate uh, with the Astros in 2022, uh, but he did win a World Series championship because of it. So uh, he gets the ring uh, that he was looking for but now is hoping to cash in uh, in free agency but at this point it's probably not super likely but regardless um, you know as a fourth outfielder option uh, Trey, Tur or Trey Mancini can be um, a solid option for the Mets as well uh, in 2022 uh, Mancini had a war of 1.4 124 hits 18 home runs 239 batting average uh, 56 runs scored 63 RBIs zero stolen bases not a threat uh, on the base path uh, OPS or on base percentage of 319 uh, slugging 391 one OPS of seven uh, seven one two or seven one zero uh, and OPS plus of one oh one. So overall, just a very average year at the plate uh, for Trey Mancini. Uh, started off really well with the Orioles, but struggled when he went to the Astros. Um, so hopefully, he can get back to his Orioles. Uh, production um, and does have that familiarity with uh, Buck Showalter. Um, so that could be a possibility there as well. Now, according to his baseball savant page, um, hits the ball pretty hard still. Um, you know, hard hit percentage is average, but max exit velocity is high. Uh, average exit velocity is on the you know the better half. Um, barrel percentage is a little bit high as well. Uh, he's not a very fast uh, player. Doesn't have a great arm, um, and does tend to strike out uh, and chase pitches and just miss. Um, pitchers in general. So uh, Trey Mancini, sort of similar to Tommy Pham production-wise, could be an option uh, for the New York Mets in 2023. And I guess we'll keep an eye uh, to see if there's some sort of reunion between Buck Showalter and Trey Mancini with the Mets in 2023. So next player is Adam Duvall. Adam Duvall is pretty similar to the last few players I mentioned before. Uh, can play the outfield. Had a tremendous year in 2021 and then sort of followed that up by a mediocre year in 2022. Uh, in 2022, he had a negative 0.1 war. Um, just 287 at-bats, so missed some time there. Um, 12 home runs, 213 average, 
Uh, on base percentage though of 276 are not great um, and OPS plus of 87 so uh, out of all the hitters we, we've listed so far uh, Adam Duvall probably had the worst year in 2023 uh, but has had an impressive year in the past um, in 2022 and I believe he had 113 RBIs and like 38 home runs which is just incredible uh, so if Adam Duvall can get back to his production in 2021 uh, rather than what he provided last year uh, in 2022 uh, this man could be a steal for whatever team gets him now, a couple of things on his baseball savant page that stands out. Um, he hits the ball hard. Uh, his, out, his outs above average is, is pretty high as well. Uh, has a pretty good arm and is a pretty solid defensive outfielder. So um, in regards to arm strength and outfielder jump. So uh, Adam Duvall could be an option there. But if his hitting figure itself out um, like it did in 2021, I actually think he could be a pretty sneaky player. But was that just a one-off? Potentially. Uh, and that's probably why he's still a free agent as of right now. So next player is probably the best player on this list. And that is Jerks. And pro far, uh, who actually had a pretty solid year in 2022, uh, the best year of any player I'm going to mention in this video, uh, and that John Heyman mentioned um, in his tweet. Uh, so this would actually be a pretty big splash for the Mets if they were to go and get him. Uh, so now in 2022, pro far had a 3.1 WAR, 140 hits, 15 home runs, 243 average, um, 58 RBIs. Uh, on base percentage of 331, OPS plus of 111. Uh, overall, had a career year last year, better than his career averages. Um, and Jerks of Profar, in my opinion, is probably the best hitter available on the market. Uh, you can even make the argument the best player on the market. And I'm not really too sure if he fits the price range of the Mets um, in regards to a fourth outfielder, as Profar can be a more than capable starting outfielder uh, in the MLB, where he you know wouldn't be um, with the Mets per se. But uh, yeah, Profar, really solid year. Although last year, you know, it doesn't hit the ball very hard. Uh, his average exit VLO is pretty low. Uh, hard hit percentage is pretty low as well. Um, but he does, you know, his K percentage is high. Uh, his walk percentage is high. His whiff percentage is high. Uh, chase rate's high. So this guy's not going to strike out a ton. Uh, he's going to get on base. He's not going to hit for power per se, uh, but did, you know, mix in 15 home runs last year which is a pretty, pretty solid season uh, for Jerks and Profar. So uh, if the Mets want a player who is very versatile uh, and is coming off a career year in 2022, uh, Profar could definitely be that guy um, in the Big Apple. Now, the last player that John Heyman mentioned was Tyler Naquin, who, of course, Mets fans would know, um, having spent time with the Mets in 2022. Uh, Tyler Naquin, not a fantastic year um, in 2023, or sorry, in 2022, uh, looking for a bounce back in 2023. Uh, throughout his career, though, he's a pretty average hitter just all around, uh, but did have a down year uh, in 2022, as I mentioned before, uh, you know, negative 0.3 war, 71 hits, 11 home runs, 229 average, um, 46 RBIs, on base percentage of just 282, uh, OPS plus of 93, not great there. Um, our arm strength's pretty high, uh, as I'd feel the jump's pretty low though. Uh, sprint speed's decent, so we can, you know, move around a little bit, uh, despite only having four stolen bases last year, uh, but does hit the ball pretty hard as well, um, you know, with his max exit velocity pretty high. So um, overall, I think Tyler Naquin is very similar to the other players. If the Mets are able to get one of these players, I think it'd be a pretty good move to add more depth to their outfield uh, for the 2023 MLB season. So now just building off that, I want to go over what the Mets depth chart looks like as of right now, uh, according to fangraphs.com. Um, nothing really has changed uh, in the last little while. Uh, the projected lineup for 2023 consists of Brandon Nemo uh, as their starting center fielder, uh, Starling Marte in right, Francisco Lindor at short, Pete Alonso at first, uh, Jeff McNeil at second, Daniel Vogelback at DH, uh, Mark Hanna in left, uh, Eduardo Escobar at third, and Omar Novaez recently acquired uh, this offseason as their starting catcher. And on the bench, um, Tomas Nito, uh, Darren Ruff, uh, Luis Guillaume, uh, and Khalil Lee, uh, you know, to provide, uh, you know, some options there. So definitely uh, the Mets could be in the running for an outfielder, um, a player that's definitely not going to start for them over guys like Brandon Nimmo, Starling Marte, or Mark Hanna, but could be a nice addition to their team um, on the bench. Nice utility guy uh, for the 2023 MLB season. So leave your thoughts down below as always on uh, what you guys think the New York Mets are going to do in 2023. So that's going to be it for this video. Just wanted to give you guys a quick update um, on the John Heyman report about which players could be of interest to the New York Mets for the 2023 season uh, in regards to a fourth outfielder. Uh, Mets fans, leave your thoughts down below in the comment section of this video as always. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next one.